I got to know my dentist as a little boy better than I did my two brothers. I was always in the chair. I had more than 20 fillings at one point. Of course, they put in the deadly mercury fillings that are amalgams. Now this practice didn't start until the beginning of the 1800s when they realized that the only people who could afford dentistry were the kings, queens, and princesses and princes. It was only gold they could use. Now back in those days, they were congruent to the idea that mercury was a deadly poison. As a matter of fact, in the 19th century and early 20th century, they thought about mercury the same way you and I think about nuclear waste. They had to convince the few dentists that existed then that there was some ominous research done at some great university that found that when you put mercury in the mouth, somehow it magically was no longer dangerous for you because it was the only method that they realized could melt metal at that point, amalgams. And that's how that practice started. They didn't do very well in the first generation of dentists because they didn't believe it, but by the second, when they propagandized and blew up and fabricated research from the great universities of Europe, they said, well, look it, the great doctors tell us this is safe, and they got more people into the sinister scheme. By the third generation, they didn't even think that these amalgam fillings were dangerous. This is deadly poison that we're putting into the human body. This is insanity at its best and criminal at its worst. And I would rather go to the second because I think it's a criminal act. This poisons the body, makes you more susceptible to every known disease to man and weakens your immune system. Even more concerning than that, let's speak a little bit about a root canal. Now the best way for me to describe this to you as many years ago, I had one abscess. I never knew I had an abscess tooth because my teeth and my gums never hurt. It was my leg, my shoulder, my side, and I happened to go for a checkup, and when I sat in the chair and he touched with a pick my tooth, I just about hit the ceiling. He said, you have an abscess. Now thank God at that point in my life, I was already seeing biological alternative dentist. So he didn't suggest a root canal. He said, let's pull it. Now let's explain why root canals are dangerous. Because when you pull a tooth and let it drain, all of that poison infection is coming out that by the way, in the story I just told you know, reached my toes and reached my side and re reached my back. What happens if I take that and drill into my roots and in a matter of 10 to 20 seconds, pack in a, a filling, do a root canal? Well, guess where that infection is going to stay potentially for my entire life, throughout my body. And when my immune system now has to deal with a microbial infection, and all of those cells are over there doing it, do you think, just for a minute, it may be quite easy for another disease to fester and to grow and to walk into my body totally free? The immune system's over here taking care of that root canal infection I have. Time and time again, we've seen over the decades of Hippocrates' work that when people have root canals removed, we see diseases also go away. There's been studies done, for instance, in Germany that looked at root canals in specific teeth. When they looked at women with breast cancer, they found that over six out of 10 had either one or both of the teeth with root canals, and these people were now enduring breast cancer. It wasn't the only cause. Environmental estrogens, et cetera, also are causative. But when you see six out of 10, it's a major contributor. So when you look for a dentist today, again, it's a biological, alternative, holistic dentist. You can get on the internet, look this up, you're gonna find people, and I would interview them. Never be intimidated by a doctor because we have credentials. What you do is you actually go to them and interview them. If you don't like them, you get up and walk out. Just because somebody has experience, just because somebody does something natural, doesn't always mean they're gonna resonate with you. I know the ones that we've used here at Hippocrates Health Institute are state-of-the-art great and everyone seems to like them. Why? When women and men in their field are confident, they're going to be great at what they do. Don't let them put deadly mercury in your mouth that also contains nickel and don't let them do root canals because I'm going to tell you that's going to add other dimensions of disease to your life.